Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. In this video, we're going to focus on power supplies. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R440 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps you out in this video, we're trying to grow our channel, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, let's hop in. Okay, this video is uh, one of the quickest and fastest videos in our series. It is uh, going to be on power supplies. There's really only two options that you're going to have for the 440. That's going to be the 350 watt or the 550 watt. Um, that's about it. You just need to make sure that you're using the same ones inside your machine. Uh, you can't mix and match one 350, one 550. That'll lead to some issues for sure. Uh, so just make sure that you're, you're using the same one and, and that's it. So what we'll do right now is we'll show you how to actually uh, install one. And again, super easy. It's a hot swap. It'll just slide in and out, but we'll show you nonetheless exactly how to do it. All right, so actually real quick before we install it, I wanted to show a quick close-up of them. Uh, these are kind of little skinny power supplies as a whole, but here's your 350, here's your 550. Again, not much going on, but I did want to show you uh, they are hot swap. When you go to put them in, you have this uh, orange clip that'll just pop in and out, and that's how it locks into place with these uh, pieces on the side right here. But, I mean, other than that, uh, it's a, a, this is a pretty simple video, and uh, the power supplies are a pretty simple part as a whole. So let's go ahead and show you how to pop them in. All right, so let's say uh, we had a power supply that went bad. Uh, we need to make sure we match them up, of course, but this is how you would remove it. So you're going to push this in, and then right here there's a little uh, hook for your thumb. So you're just going to push this in and pull it out. Again, really simple slides out. So since this is a 550 watt, we're going to look at our two. Okay, we got another 550 right here, so we need to make sure we put another 550 in. You're just going to line it up. You'll notice when I push this in, this clip right here is going to slide and lock into place. So now if I try to pull it out, it is physically locked into place. So um, that's about it with the power supplies. So if you made it this far, hey, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built uh, Dell servers or HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. And I also meant to to add, we do new and used. So if you're looking for the latest and greatest or you're looking for something a few gins back, we do the whole life cycle. So please give us an opportunity to earn your business. Take care, guys.